So you want to know what it's like to live in Pleasanton, California? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's get to it. Welcome to the Living in Oakland, California channel. I'm Rich Fleming, your local realtor, and I'm here to teach you everything you need to know about living, working, playing, sleeping, eating. You know the drill. In Oakland and the rest of San Francisco East Bay, I get a ton of people who reach out to me with questions about what it's like to live here, how do they transition here, what do you need to know before they get here, and I absolutely love it. That's why I do these videos. I have moved places and not known anyone or anything. So. Uh, if you got questions, you know what to do. Drop me a text, send me an email, give me a call. Because when it comes to helping you transition to Oakland and the rest of the San Francisco East Bay, I got your back. I am in downtown Pleasanton, which is a very beautiful, quaint, scenic area of the town. So as I always do in these videos, Let's start with some geographic and demographic basics about Pleasanton. So Pleasanton is about 15 to 20 miles southeast of Oakland. And you can get there by either taking the 580 freeway from Oakland, it'll take you right to Pleasanton, or you can take Highway 24 from Oakland and then Highway 680 South, and that will take you to Pleasanton. So Pleasanton is a city of about 80,000 people located in 24 square miles roughly and it has a population density of about 3300 people per square mile so it is a very suburban area not densely populated you still actually have some small ranches and things in pleasanton and it is a city that people absolutely love it regularly appears on a list of best cities in mid-sized mid cities in the U.S. to live in. Um, it is a perennial favorite in, in those types of lists. So it is a, a really nice place to live, <laughs> quite honestly. It is a town that has a lot of benefits geographically speaking. Actually, it has many of the same benefits that Walnut Creek does as far as being located um, at the intersection of two major highways. It has two barge stations. Uh, you have good access to being able to get to Oakland or San Francisco and driving down to at least parts of the Silicon Valley isn't unreasonable from here. So uh, it has become an extremely popular town over the last 10 15 years or so to live and it has a lot to offer beyond its geographic benefits so so let's talk commerce here in pleasanton so pleasanton has really especially over the last 10 15 years become a tech hub or a tech satellite of you know the core silicon valley area you have a number of companies that have uh, established their headquarters here safeway the grocery store chain is headquartered here workday which uh provides hr SaaS systems ellie may which i believe is in the student loan business i'm not exactly sure some some lending business um they all have their headquarters here so uh, a number of other companies have significant operations here Clorox, Macy's, Kaiser, Permanente, the hospital system. They are all major employers here. Um, so you really have the benefits of being not too far from Silicon Valley, but not in the heart of it. Um, even though this area does have a pretty high cost of living, especially compared to most other regions in the country, um, it is still less expensive than being in the heart of Silicon Valley. So. It really has drawn a lot of people for that reason. So transportation wise, uh, Pleasanton has, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the benefit of being located on two major freeways. So Highway 580 basically runs from the, the California Central Valley uh, to Oakland, into Richmond, and will take you into Marin, Marin County. 
and highway 680 is pretty much a major corridor to take you from essentially the sacramento area down to san jose so uh it really benefits from having a great access it also has two bart stations uh there is the dublin pleasanton bart station and the west dublin pleasanton bart station so your access to being able to get to other parts of the bay area is spectacular from here now your transportation in town you do have a, a bus system that serves the area um it is a pretty big town i personally i don't spend a lot of time taking the buses here but uh, my observation is that the bus coverage here uh, if you're a non-driver is not spectacular um, but if you're a driver this is actually not a bad town uh, to live in pretty much everywhere you live in town you have good access to freeways so uh, it's pretty easy that way so let's talk about one of the biggest appeals for many people in living in Pleasanton and that's its school district so Pleasanton always ranks as having one of the top school districts at, not only in California but in the country so uh, people really flock here to be part of this this uh, school district the school district has two high schools I think three middle schools and nine elementary schools and I think they have one preschool too so um, that is really one of the drivers uh, of what brings people to Pleasanton if they have a family with, with kids. So a lot of people don't realize that Pleasanton actually houses the Alameda County Fairgrounds. And the fairgrounds have been here since, I think, 1912. Um, and it has, this is a piece of trivia for you, it has the oldest one mile long horse race track in the country i believe so one of the other great things about pleasanton is that it offers a lot of access to the outdoors that is a common theme here in the east bay uh, if you're a person who likes great access to hiking trails uh mountains so on uh you know you're going to love the east bay and you're definitely going to love pleasanton uh it has a lot of parks a lot of open space it is actually near the shadow cliffs regional park which is part of the uh, east bay regional park district um, which is the largest park district regional park district in the country i believe you're really just going to have great access to that stuff so there are a lot of great things to do here in pleasanton you have the firehouse arts center which brings in a lot of the performing arts uh, that has really just kind of changed the whole cultural vibe of Pleasanton over the last 10 years or so. There is, of course, a farmer's market that's held downtown here at the intersection of Maine and I believe Angela. Um, you have the Click Art Museum. Uh, you have the Ruby Hills Winery, which is uh, very renowned in this area. So it is just an area where there's just a lot of stuff to do. There's always things going on in Pleasanton. It is uh, a, a great location for families, quite honestly. So it's just a great location if you want a lot of stuff uh, to be able to do, but don't want to be in the center of a metropolitan area. Uh, you want it a little bit slower pace, a little calmer. Pleasanton is great for that. So let's talk housing. So if you're coming from any other part of the country, uh, Pleasanton's housing expenses are going to see, seem astronomical to you. So the average price of a home here in Pleasanton is almost $1.6 million, and that's up about 32% over last year. And a lot of that was driven by the extremely low interest rates that we've had for the last year, 18 months or so, due to the pandemic. That price, though, can vary significantly. So here in the downtown area, this is the older part of town. The homes are uh, smaller. Uh, you have a lot of two bedroom, one bathroom, small three and twos in this area. Prices might be a little bit less. And you have, uh, say, the Ruby Hill area of Pleasanton, which is a uh, country club gated community 
where you essentially have mansions that go for upwards of $10 million. A lot of the homes in that area sell from about two and a half million to about five million, six million. Um, so you have a very wide range, but no matter where in Pleasanton, uh, the housing prices are pretty significant if you're coming from most places out of state. Now, if you're relocating from the Silicon Valley, well, living in Pleasanton is quite a good value, quite honestly. It gives you a much better standard cost of living, which is probably 25% lower, maybe 33% lower than being in the heart of Silicon Valley. So if you're looking to rent here in Pleasanton, it is not inexpensive. I would say uh, you should expect to spend hmm, about close to $2,000 a month for even a one bedroom. And it can definitely go higher than that, 2,500 to 3,000 in some newer uh, developments, newer homes. Um, it is not a, an inexpensive proposition to rent here. If you are trying to be budget-minded, there are communities that are probably going to be more cost-effective. So what are the best things about living in Pleasanton? Well, there are a number of them. I'll give you three. Uh, the first thing, location. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Pleasanton is located at the intersection of highways 580 and 680, two major freeways. You're about halfway in between central Contra Costa County, essentially the Walnut Creek area, and uh, Fremont, San Jose. You also have access to get into Oakland, San Francisco. You've got two BART stations here. So location-wise, it is a very convenient place to live. The second thing, and what Pleasanton is really known for, is its school district. So as I mentioned earlier, top school district in the country. Um, and people have been flocking here for that reason. And the third thing is it is just an overall great, pleasant place to live. I mean, it makes regular best place to live list for a reason. Um, it is uh, a, a safe area. It is an enjoyable area, good access to the outdoors. So what are some drawbacks of living in Pleasanton? Well, two pop to mind for me immediately. First is the cost of living. It is very expensive to live here. So unless you are coming from say San Francisco, San Mateo or Santa Clara counties, essentially San Francisco down through the heart of Silicon Valley, if you're moving to Pleasanton, it seems like a bargain compared to the housing prices in those areas. But if you're coming from pretty much anywhere else, Pleasanton is an expensive city to move to. It's very expensive to buy a home and uh, rents are very expensive here. So the second thing is kind of based on your point of view. Um, and it is because Pleasanton is a upper middle class, even considered a wealthy community, it lacks uh, social economic diversity. And if it's important to you to have a variety of people around with varying experiences, uh, life goals, things like that, Pleasanton is a much more homogeneous socioeconomic community. But overall, I absolutely love Pleasanton. It is a very nice place to live. Um, I would consider living here. I actually have lived in Oakland and Walnut Creek uh, most of my life. Uh, but I do get down here frequently and I do love it down here. If you've got any questions about anything I covered in this video or have questions in general about moving to Oakland or the rest of the San Francisco East Bay, you know what to do. Drop me a text, give me a call, send me an email, whatever works for you. Because when it comes to helping you transition to Oakland and the rest of the San Francisco East Bay, I got your back. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button so YouTube knows to show it to other people like yourselves hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you know each and every time I put out a new video and I will catch you in the next video.